This tutorial is developed for the very beginner of Star CCN. We are going to look into the flow inside the channel. First, we need to create a SIM file. Click on the file and then New. Keep the default and then press OK. Then we need to create a CAD file. Right click, New. It will take you to the CAD design part of the store CCM. Select one uh, of the surfaces here, X, Y, and then create a sketch. But to select, you need to right click in order to have the option popped up. Then use one of the options that you have here to create a rectangle. Then I will uh, specify the length of each part of this uh, rectangle. Just to have it nicer, I will put the corner of the rectangle to 0 and 0 for X and Y and press OK. Uh, now we have our sketch ready. Right click on that and then click extrude. We are going to extrude uh, this sketch. You, you see that you have several options here. I will use the same sizes and one way extrusion. By that we will have the first body. The body consists of uh, different surfaces you can see now I want to uh, rename the surfaces first here I would select it to be the inlet and I have the outlet on the other side of the channel yep. uh, you can also look at the faces here at the face history you can press F2 and go to the rename or right click and then rename and then write the proper name for each surface. Update the 3D CAD and then close it. Uh, yeah. The next step is to create a geometry from the CAD file. Right click now geometry. You can uh, keep the default values here. Let's create a geometry scene. Now we have only one geometry so it's very straightforward. And you can see that in the surfaces of the part, the names that we assign to the CAD appears. The next step is to assign this part into a region. Right click and uh, assign to a region. I will name the region as fluid. Then we want to have uh, one uh, boundary for each part surface. So select that one and apply. It will create the region, close that one. For that region and body, we need to create a mesh. So we go for automatic mesh. Uh, select surface measure it's not necessary for this simple cat file but we will go with that and i will select trimmer which give me the dominant hex right click on this just to see yeah, and then create another uh, scene for mesh you see that this is the default value it's quite coarse i will go to the sizes of the default controls you have the base size that defines the general size of the mesh here it's uh, one meter i will go for a point five yeah point zero five and then press the execute right click execute and then you see that it gets finer it's a silk course i will go another level down so point oh one and then again re-execute the mesh and you see that we have this very simple very uniformly distributed cell across the channel yeah, i would like to use the time and say that for startups and students we have a special offer for safety services you, you just contact us to get support on that the next step is to look into the physics And then 
select the physics i will go for a steady simulations then i will select liquid it's just a tutorial just go with whatever you want and then segregate it i will say that it's a constant density and i will go with laminar for this tutorial we will cover the turbulence modeling and more advanced setups in the future tutorials then closing if you want to check the fluid materials and properties i mean here although i said it as air but it's water let's keep it that way and this is you see that the density and the viscosity you can change that to whatever you want and there is a database in the star system for that we go to the region we have the fluid that is set up we have three different boundaries the first one is inlet you see that this is the physical conditions and since this boundary is set to the wall we need to change it to velocity inlet yep. and uh, this is the value the magnitude of the velocity that goes normal i will keep that value for now and then we have walls uh, boundaries and for outlet we set it as a pressure outlet the next step is to go to physics values and then if you want you can change it but it wouldn't affect the results here the next one is just to look at the stopping criteria it's 1000 iterations but probably it will converge before that now i create uh, one section plane section in order to have a good surface for post-processing i will set it uh, to be normal in the z direction so zero zero in x and y and then one in z then press create and close it now you have your plane section here we go and create a scene here we want to have a scalar so a scalar scene this is general scalar scene add that plane to that scalar and then you can select different properties to be shown on this plane i will go for a velocity magnitude you see that we don't have any things here we need to initialize and as we initialize the velocity becomes zero everywhere it starts running and then you see that it's gradually converging this is quite simple case so it should converge quite easily you see that it has been already converged and this is this is going to be your final results for this case you see that the velocity close to the wall it's uh, close to zero and we don't need the outlet i can remove it just to show you how the mesh looks like inside this channel with the velocity profiles please contact us if you need any help with your safety project